So I've been experimenting with interfacing SD cards using a simple circuit that I made. All it is is a AT Mega, um, a 8 megahertz crystal oscillator, a couple of LEDs, and this board over here, which I'm just using um, it for a switch right there, and power. Um, the switch just turns on the power. So um, basically, what the circuit does is um, when I turn on the power, it initializes the SD card, um, which is going to be put into this um, little slot I made. And then um, once it initializes properly, um, this yellow LED right here will bl uh, just turn on and stay on. And then um, the next thing that it does is it, it writes a file to this card, SD card, um, a text file. And in that text file, um, it has a little message, which I'll show in a little bit. Um, and then once it's properly um, written that um, text message file, um, this LED will blink. The green LED will blink. So that tells you that the file is written. So I'll go over the c computer and, tell, and uh, show you what's on the SD card. Okay, so here's the SD card in the computer. And you can see that there's nothing on it right now. So I'm going to plug it into the circuit and turn it on and you'll see what it does. Okay, so here's the SD card. I'm going to insert it into the slot. The power is off right now. Okay, now the SD card is in the slot. I'm going to turn on the power and watch the yellow LED and the green LED. Okay, so since the yellow LED is on, that means it initiated properly and the green LED is blinking to tell me that the file was written. So we're going to go back over to the computer and take a look at what's on the SD card now. Okay, so here's the SD card in the computer and we can see that there's a new file, hello.txt, that's a text file. Um, that's what the ATmega328 uh, P circuit uh, wrote. So we're going to open that up and see what's inside it. So you can see the text file is hello world I am an AT Mega 328P. I just created this file with this message. So you can see it's uh, worked pretty successfully. So the circuit's actually really pretty simple. Um, the AT Mega 328P really isn't necessary. Um, the SD card only needs, um, let's see, four pins on a microcontroller um, to communicate plus the positive and ground. So um, you really don't need an ATmega328P to uh, interface with an SD card. It's just the only other uh, microcontroller I had is an ATtiny2313 and the memory on that was too small, the flash memory. And uh, the ATmega328P was the only one that had sufficient memory, so that's the reason why I used it. Um, you could use a really tight microcontroller like the ATtiny85 and that would work pretty good. So thanks for watching. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe.